freezing to 80s. What am I packing for my through hike? Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share what clothing I'm going to be bringing on my Chateau Trace through hike. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll understand the trade-offs I've made and why I chose the clothing that I did. I'm going to go over what a layering system is and what layers did I pack for. What is the purpose of each layer and how does it fit into the larger system? I'm going to look at each piece of clothing I considered and why I did or didn't decide to pack it, and how do my choices affect both my base and worn weight. Okay, let's get started. First up is discussing the layering system I'll be using during my 2021 through hike. As you can see, I'm using lighter pack to break down each layer and track the weight of each item. I've attached my lighter pack link in the description for your reference. I like using lighter pack because I can see the weight of each layer and how my clothes affect my base and worn weight. When I'm using lighter pack, a key tip I use is instead of just increasing the item quantity for items that I'll be carrying multiple of, I break them out into separate rows. That way I can show the item that I'll be wearing versus the additional items that I'll be storing my in my backpack as spare clothing. If you look, you can see where I've done this in my base weight layer, showing my shirt, socks, and undies being worn. If you go ahead and look down in my camp sleep layer, you can see where I've duplicated those items, showing them as spare clothing as carry weight. This helps me accurately show my base weight versus worn weight. As you can see, I'll be using the following layers. My base layer, mid layer, insulation layer, outer rain layer, and camp sleep layer. Okay let's talk base layer. The normal use of the base layer is to wick away moisture and help you regulate your temperature. I also look for my base layer to provide both sun and bug protection. This is why I have long sleeve and pant length clothing that I can treat with permethrin. The things I look for in my base layer clothing is moisture wicking, fast drying, and most importantly, comfortable clothing to wear. Next up is the mid layer. The job of the mid layer is to provide some minimal insulation while you are actively working or hiking. The key is you should feel cold or cool when you stop, but be comfortable while you're hiking. This layer should expect to get wet from either rain or sweat, and it should still provide that insulation property while it's wet. It should also be flexible to help you regulate warmth, easy to take on and off, zip open or close, anything along those lines. It's all about regulating temp without needing to stop and take your pack on and off to regulate. Next up is the insulation layer. The insulation layer's primary purpose is to keep you warm once you've stopped hiking for the day or taking a break, and the mid layer can no longer keep you warm. It also acts as an extra layer of protection from the weather turns colder than what you've packed for. Primary things I look for is something that is lightweight and comfortable to wear. Typically, this layer is either a synthetic fleece, a merino wool, or down insulation. Next up is the outer or rain layer. This layer's job is to protect you from the wind and rain and act as a moisture break. Don't expect this layer to keep you dry. Its job is to act as a moisture break, keeping the cold wind and rain from your warm insulation layers. I look for lightweight, a water barrier, and heat management capability. And last is my camp or sleep layer. I treat the clothes that I wear at camp as its own layer. I want to keep the clothes I hike in separate from the clothes I wear at camp and sleep in. I also want the flexibility to be able to wear the clothes to hike in if things go bad. Normally, I reserve one set of clothes to sleep in and rotate my hiking clothes if I have a spare set such as my underwear and socks. Don't underestimate being able to get dry and comfortable after a long day's hike. Okay, let's go ahead and start looking at each piece of clothing. What I'm going to go ahead and do is discuss the factors that went into me either choosing or not choosing each piece of clothing based on the particular features I look for in each layer. First up is a piece of gear I decided not to take. I love the conversion pants slash shorts. However, they were over twice the weight of the gear I ended up going with. This is another reason I like using lighter pack and weighing all my gear. I get to do these what if scenarios. I chose the Smart Wool 150 boxer briefs because they're lightweight, comfortable, and the wool has antimicrobial capabilities to keep down the funk. I went with the Icebreaker Cool Light long sleeve shirt. The long sleeves protect me from the sun, and the merino wool, again, is to keep down the funk. 
I chose the Cadmus compression pants over the trousers shown earlier because they're lightweight, protect me from the sun, and since they are form-fitting with permethrin will protect me from the bugs. I went with the Darn Tough AT socks because the merino wool stays warm when wet and the over ankle protection is because I'm a klutz. I went with generic Amazon brand synthetic running shorts because they're lightweight, fast drying, and I can actually access the pockets while wearing the backpack. Rounding out my base layer, I went with the buff solar gloves and the Sunday afternoons ultralight hat for sun protection and quick fast drying. Moving on to the mid layer, I'm looking for clothing that keeps me warm when wet. The Fayette Chill Pullover Hoodie is quickly turned into my favorite piece of hiking clothing. It's a Melly knockoff and it is so comfortable and warm. Unfortunately, it's a piece of gear that I decided not to bring because it weighs more than both my mid-layer top and puffy jacket combined. The mid-layer top I ended up going with is the QU Ultra Merino 145 top. It ends up being half the weight as the hoodie, just as warm, and has zippers to help regulate temperature. Unlike the hoodie, which is a synthetic, this is a merino wool mid-layer. Continuing with QU, I went with the Pro Merino 200 zip-off bottoms. These are a merino wool mid-layer. What is nice is the legs unzip down each side allowing you to put on or take off the mid layer without having to strip down your, your outer layers. Next up is the Black Diamond Polar Tech glove that can either be worn as fingerless gloves or flipped down and used as a warm winter mitten. Rounding out the mid layer is the all essential merino wool buff and warm beanie. Moving on to the insulation layer. I went with the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer 2 hooded jacket and pants. Super lightweight, super comfortable, super warm. What's not to love? Moving on to the outer or rain layer. First up is the Seal Skins waterproof socks. I'll be doing a lot of cold weather water crossings as most of the rivers are supposed to be either outright flooded or running high and I'll be hiking cold and damp. The uh, Compass 360 wind pants are just for that. When it's cold wind, these give me a, a nice windbreak. For rain, I have the Z-Pax DCF rain kilt. This is multi-purpose, something I can wear to help with the rain, but I can also unzip it and use it as a, a ground cloth for my backpack when I'm setting up camp. The anti-gravity gear rain jacket, key feature for me is the pit zips to help regulate temp. The last piece of rain gear is Mountain Laurel Designs three layer event rain mitts. They're large enough to fit over my other pairs of gloves and provide that uh, waterproof rain barrier. Now my camp sleep layer is primarily my spare clothing. However, I go ahead and list my sandals in this layer. My camp shoes are the Luna Mono Gordo Winged Edition sandals. They are a really rugged pair of sandals that other hikers have actually hiked the entire length of the AT wearing. Since I will be doing many stream and river crossings, I wanted a pair of sandals that I could use for the crossings and, and maybe even do a little bit of hiking between multiple crossings in a single day. I hope this explains why I used a layering system to figure out my clothing choices. I'm just a few weeks away from starting my through hike and I'm excited to share my journey with you. Don't forget to click subscribe so you don't miss my journey. If you like this video, please hit the like button and join the conversation in the comments below. This will help me really grow this channel. I want to encourage others recovering from what life has thrown them and show them that they can chase their dreams as well. As always, thank you for watching.